early in your algebra career, right? When, when you know when you first started learning about functions or formulas with two variables, you know things like y equals x squared, right? You learned that the x variable is the independent variable. And the y variable is the dependent variable, right? And, and in other words, the value of the y variable depends on your choice of value for the x variable. Well, in statistics, we have a similar concept, right? The explanatory variable uh, corresponds with algebra's independent variable. And the response variable corresponds with the dependent variable. In other words, in statistics terms, the explanatory variable explains the value of the response variable, or just it explains the response. So let's look at an example. In this experiment, people are put on a special diet and exercise program, and the change in their weight is measured. So this gives us three variables. There's diet and uh, exercise program or level and weight, more, more specifically the change in their weight. So in this scenario, diet and exercise are the explanatory variables and weight is the response variable right again in, in statistical terms we expect that changes in diet and exercise will explain the changes that we see in the response variable so when we have two variables and we're thinking in terms of explanatory versus response there are two possible scenarios one is that the two variables are correlated right that means they both change in sync with each other, either both going up or both going down. And the other option is that, is that one of the changes is actually causing the other, which is what we mean by causation. Now to see the difference, take a look at this scenario. A researcher looks back at historical data and he sees that ice cream sales and drowning deaths both rise and fall at the same time every year. Now, this is exactly what we mean by correlation, but can the researcher also conclude that there's causation here? That is, does eating ice cream somehow cause people to be more likely to drown? Well, that's obviously not, not a realistic conclusion. Uh, what the researcher is probably seeing is actually caused by a third variable that wasn't considered. That's temperature or um, what you could call seasonality. Right? In the summertime, people are going swimming more, which causes an increase in drowning deaths. And also in the summertime, people are, are consuming more warm weather foods like ice cream, which causes ice cream sales to go up. So this lecture has foreshadowed a number of important considerations that we're going to be looking at in the next several lectures. For example, how can we determine the impact of external variables and under what circumstances can we conclude that causation exists rather than just correlation.